years ago went from living in his van to living in his fucking dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Sing it if you know the words. This is Hans Kim. What the fuck is up, comedy mothership? Hell yeah. I think one of the most racist things to ever happen is the Chinese Expulsion Act. Do you know what's worse to an Asian than getting expelled? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Could have at least called it the Chinese B plus act. Okay. <laughs> How dare you use the language of schools against us? School is like our NFL. <laughs> That's like calling the Fugitive Slave Act the Offsides on the Defense Five-Yard Penalty Act. I have a Rolex. I love my Rolex because I'm fabulously wealthy. I'm thinking of having kids just to stunt on people. I love having a Rolex because I can look at it and be like, oh, it looks like it's time to pull out my iPhone because I have no idea how to read this thing. Thank you. Hans Kim. Welcome. Another new minute. Very fun. The Chinese Expulsion Act. Yes. I read a history book this week. <laughs> I love it. What is the Chinese Expulsion Act exactly? Can you explain it to these uh, people? The Chinese Expulsion Act is what happens when Asians act up. <laughs> is that really what... what it? <laughs> Well, apparently we built the railroads and they were like, okay, what, what are you going to do now? Okay, fuck off. You know, they were, were kind of done with us. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were very funny and I've made it my live stream to fight racism. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, how, how do you do that exactly? I just don't want to get canceled. So I'd say that people would think I'm a good guy. I do want to get canceled. Get me the fuck out of Hollywood. You're a very good writer. Very funny. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. I appreciate uh, that you love uh, hating racism. I, I also agree with you. Thank you. <laughs> now, Hans, you talked about the Chinese a little bit, and you are Korean. Wait, you're uh, not even Chinese. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, you're not you're Chinese. not allowed to do that. I made a show called Two Broke Girls, and there was a Chinese character on it, and the actor that auditioned was South Korean, and they called me racist. Well, <laughs> hey. Can you please make a call and fix that? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to nail in that coffin. <laughs> I got a Korean. He's not even Chinese, and they called me racist. Go, 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 go. Wait, you're not even Chinese? I mean, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, I, we yeah. were talking. Are you, are you really Korean? I'm South Korean, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, fucking Korean, all right? Yeah, Korean. yeah, yeah. Korean, Korean, <laughs> Korean, Korean, all yeah. right? There's no difference between North Korean and South Korean. It's just politics. <laughs> you're Korean. You're Korean. That's like going, oh, where do you live? I live in Georgia, on the border of Florida. The same, you're a redneck. Let's... <laughs> I heard Korean Facebook's fucking confusing as shit. <laughs> Is yeah, this true? Is Korean yeah, Facebook Yeah, trying to tag computer? yourself in a photo. You're like, is that me? No, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> is that my mom? It's like, Shit, I'm in all these pictures. It's like, uh, <laughs> fucking Mardi Gras, baby. You know, at one point in my life, I would have enjoyed that joke. But now... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you have one of the best Asian jokes ever that I heard 17 years ago. <laughs> Wait, you really are Korean? Yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. it's getting up. Come on. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? He's wearing a Halloween mask or something right now? <laughs> Actually, I'm American. <laughs> I am American. Ah. I love, I, love, oh, I love the guy in the cowboy hat. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not from where I'm from, boy. Right. This is Texas. This is not the rest of America. No, but I, all kidding aside, thank you for that learning moment. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Hans, how did it feel up here? Whole different venue? Did you notice anything different? You noticed the a change in the room at all? I noticed that I'm closer to the audience. I feel it's more intimate. I feel like we could really connect. 
Uh, and I felt like uh, this is a wonderful club, and I can't wait to just be here and not get ki- and not like get you know extra like kicked out. So. What do you- extra kicked out? <laughs> extra kicked. Out. Let me. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Of do, course. Can women talk in Texas? Um, <laughs> Depends on what you say. We might edit it out later. <laughs> But yeah, you can talk now, sure. We don't, doesn't mean it's going to be in the show. Tony, but. I have a voice made for podcasting. Men love it. Uh, no, but I'm half from Texas. I'm, uh, my mom's from a place called Sherman, Texas. Anybody? Is anyone from Texas that lives here from here anymore? No, it's Austin. Austin? Yeah. It's Austin. None of these people are from here. So something I feel like we all came out, we're so excited to be at this club because this is just the fucking best thing ever. And I feel like we're like so excited and like pushing and you just fucking kicked it. And the, one of the things that made me laugh the most, you just went, I have a Rolex. <laughs> and you just like let it, you let a setup be a punchline. Like that was fucking so Korean, dude. That was... <laughs> the way is no way. <laughs> Hans Kim, we love having you start the show. You're a consistent fucking real stand-up comedian. Yep, very funny, guys. Hans Kim, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, buddy. And now, I repeat, in this back alleyway is 189 human beings waiting to find out if their name...